Washing your hands seems like such a basic task, but for something we do daily, many people don't take the time to do it properly. Proper hand washing is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of infectious illnesses like the common cold, flu, and diseases like COVID-19 or norovirus. Here are the steps to properly wash your hands. Use warm water. The key is using warm water, as it helps forms of bacteria and viruses dissolve more effectively. Cold or hot water can be harsh on your skin, so lukewarm water between 60,110 degrees Fahrenheit is best. Warm water is also more comfortable, so you'll be more inclined to wash thoroughly. Wet your hands. To get them nice and wet under running water, this activates the infectious organisms on your hands and makes soap more effective. Be sure to wet wrists, fingertips, and in between fingers too where bacteria likes to hide. Apply soap. Liquid or bar soap both work well as long as they contain surfactants that help lift away dirt and germs. Use enough soap to work up a good lather that covers your entire hands and wrists. This takes at least 20 seconds of rubbing to properly penetrate and lift away microbes. Antibacterial soaps aren't necessarily better basic soap and water get the job done. Scrub all surfaces. Thoroughly scrubbing all hand surfaces is crucial. Be sure to scrub. Palm to palm. In between and around each finger. Backs of hands. Fingertips. Under fingernails thumbs, wrists. Take at least 20 seconds to properly clean every nook and cranny where germs like to hide. Singing the happy birthday song twice is a good guide for scrub time. Rinse hands thoroughly. Rinse hands well under running water until all soap residue is gone. Any remaining soap could leave a film for germs to stick to again rather than being washed completely down the drain where they can't recontaminate. Dry hands completely. Wet hands spread over 100 times more germs than dry hands, so it's important to dry off thoroughly. Paper towels are preferable if available, or an air hand dryer works well. Cloth towels should be avoided in public restrooms as they can harbor bacteria. Once dry, use a paper towel to turn off any faucets and open bathroom doors without directly touching contaminated surfaces with clean hands. Hand sanitizer can be used as an additional measure if available, but only after properly washing with soap and water. Alcohol-based sanitizers kill most forms of bacteria and viruses when used correctly. When and how often to wash. Make a habit of washing hands. Before, during, and after food prep. Before eating. After using the bathroom. After blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. After touching public surfaces doors, money, cell phones. After contact with others handshakes, hugs. If hands look or feel dirty. The CDC recommends washing hands at a minimum. Before, during, and after preparing food. Before eating food. Before and after caring for someone sick. Before and after treating a cut or wound. After using the toilet. After changing diapers or cleaning up children. After blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. After touching an animal or animal waste. After touching garbage. Wash your hands more frequently if somebody in your house is sick. Hand hygiene becomes even more important to stop the spread of infectious illnesses. Proper technique along with frequent handwashing goes a long way in personal and community health and safety.